back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Chelsea Nicole. I graduated from the Royal Academy of Music with a Masters in Musical Theatre and now I'm here on YouTube to share my tips and tricks that I learned while I was there. So today's video is 10 audition songs that you need to avoid. That title just, you know, says it, says it all really. So let's just head on straight into the video. Number 10, Adelaide's Lament. This is from Guys and Dolls. It's a really fun, silly, sort of like um, annoying song. But if it's done wrong, it's just one of them like tumbleweed moments. If you can't, if you haven't got um, the best comic timing or if you don't feel most comfortable in a comedic song, definitely avoid this one. Find something that's a little bit more close to you and your character that you can really um, connect with. Um, yeah, that's my advice. Just avoid this song. <laughs> Number nine is She Used To Be Mine. Now this is one of my favorite songs um, and I have used it in auditions before. So, you know, I'm being a little bit contradictive. It's done so much. You can't hit them notes, like them straight tone notes. Right on the note, then it sounds a little bit off and then everyone's like, oh, well, you know, that girl did it better or that guy did it better doesn't matter who sings it. There are other options that you can use instead of She Used To Be Mine. Um, if that's a video you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below and I'll do that for you. Number eight, Mama Who Bore Me from Spring Awakening. I adore Spring Awakening. It's one of my favorite shows, but Mama Who Bore Me is quite a boring song. I love it. I absolutely love it. But for an audition song, it just doesn't go anywhere. It's like one note really. Um, so yeah, Definitely avoid Mama Who Bought Me. Number seven is an um, incredible song, but you definitely should avoid this for an audition. Um, it's Defying Gravity from Wicked. It's just something you don't do. It's overdone. It's just not something you go into an audition room with. Sorry. Number six is On My Own from Les Mis. Same kind of story as Defying Gravity. Yeah just avoid. <laughs> it kind of speaks for itself really. It's a beautiful song. It works incredibly well in the show and it works well if you do it in a concert or something like that but in an audition room it's a no-go. So that one is a no from me. Number five, Don't Rain On My Parade, a Funny Girl. <laughs> it, again it's a no-go. I mean all of these are a no-go. No one can do it like Barbara Streisand or Leah Michelle. So you know if you can't do it just don't do it. I love to sing this song in the shower, but going into an audition room, no, I'd, I would definitely feel like I'm being compared. Number four, Only Us from Dear Evan Hansen. It's a duet, just don't do it. It's only my opinion, so don't hate me, please. But yeah, just don't sing Only Us from Dear Evan Hansen. Three, Burn from Hamilton. It's overdone. Um, it's another one like She Used To Be Mine. Just don't do it. It's something, there are so many different songs out there. Why go for songs that have just come out? Um, everyone's going to do it. So find them little gems um, that are similar, but not the same, obviously. But yeah, just go for them little gems that not many people would go out and sing. Number two, Dead Girl Walking from Heathers. I love this song, but I just think it's just a bit over-sexualized. Um, and I just don't think that's right for an audition room. Um, yeah, that's my opinion. That's all, <laughs> that is the only thing I'd say is I just think it's a, it's a bit too sexualized. And also someone else is there. You need JD there to kind of react with. It just doesn't make sense. So yeah, avoid dead girl walking. Number one. Now, number one isn't necessarily a specific song. It's more of like a group of songs. So try to really avoid any song that mentions your age. So for instance, there's a song in Bring It On where she mentions that she's 13, I think she says, or 14. If you're like 28 like me, I wouldn't go into an audition room with that song. So that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, comment down below. I'm more than happy to answer. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you know when I post. And also that will really help my channel and it will build it and I'll be able to create more content for you guys. Yeah, so I hope you had fun listening to my top 10 audition songs that you should avoid. And I will see you in the next video.